What is up guys, welcome back to another player review. Today we are going to be looking at second inform Royce. Now I have never tried out the inform and I can't really compare him to the non-inform because the position is a bit different. While the inform is a, well sorry, the second inform is a left midfielder, the non-inform is basically a striker. So some of the important attributes for a striker might not really, you know, you won't really care about them as a left forward, left winger or left midfielder. So if you guys are looking for a cheap, reliable place to get your coin, check out battleday.com. The link will be in the description. Use the code Itani to get 5% off. Now, to begin with, I didn't have much, well, the normal informed Royce, I like him. Like he's not like he's not amazing, but I like him. Now the second inform as a winger is he good or does that make him worse? So to begin with, this guy has all the pace you need for a winger. If you want a very fucking fast winger that runs at lightning speed, this guy is the man for you. He's also got amazing dribbling, very very amazing dribbling for cutting in four star weak foot, four star skills. This guy looks like a complete winger, doesn't he? Or just a complete midfielder if you want to try him out as a left mid. But there is basically um, a couple of things, a couple of really important things. First up, his finesse shots are so fucking overpowered. Now you would say, you would argue he's an 87 overall, but this guy's finesse shot is probably one of the best finesse shots I've ever tried. And you'll see one like from 40 yards out. And it was just an amazing curve. It had just had amazing curve on it. And there was another long shot. I was so unlucky not to get it into the back of the net. It was around 45 yards, even fucking 50. I don't know, but it was very, very uh, far away. And it hits the fucking post. So I was very unlucky not to get them in. But he did score me a couple of shots outside the penalty area. And they were very, very powerful shots. No wonder the keeper never got to save them. And even the one from 45 yards, depending on how far it was, um, the keeper had so much time to save it. But he couldn't even fucking get to it. So it hits the post. Very good passing. This guy could be your playmaker as a left mid. He could be your guy to cross to take free kicks with. He has everything you pretty much need. He's got decent heading for a winger. Not, you know, Ibrahimovic heading, but decent heading for a winger. So you won't have to worry about that. And also, he has decent strength for a winger. So he's not exactly ex exceptionally strong. But because he has high ball control, high agility, high dribbling, you're going to be, be able just to force yourself through into the penalty area and just... Uh, you know, just because of how fast he is, defenders have to think on the spot. Is he going to go turning left, le turning right? They don't know. They have to think instantly and decide which way you're going to uh, go. And this guy is basically amazing. I don't <laughs> I don't even know what to say. He is probably one of my favorite wingers. And he is probably actually the best winger, the best left winger in the Bundesliga. Because I think he is better than Ribery. In my opinion, I like him more than Ribery. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. Like, make sure you let me know in the comment section below who you want me to review next and I hope you guys have a very nice day.